you're on the 300 boys youtube channel all right guys so we are back once again on the lt80 uh suzuki lt80 quad revivals we went ahead and pulled the engine covers off of alex's quad over here you can see there's a uh, more corn hiding under those so that was a good idea to get all the corn out and we also wanted to uh we just got antsy and wanted to roll the motor river um to see if it was uh locked up or not since we didn't have our starter and see if it had spark uh we did with the drill rolled it over it does have spark um and today and of course it is free and stuff it wasn't at first but we'll see what we've got to work with here but we're gonna bring you guys along and he's putting a spark plug in right now and then we're going to hook the drill up to it and kind of redneck start it here or at least try so we'll see what we get out of this thing All it does is take the old style. Uh -uh, I don't want to promise. Looks like good. I tried it as well. What you got was the other plug. All right, so we got our plug on there. Our plug boot, he's gonna hook a drill up there. Turn the gas on. We got to every to switches trick. on. What's that? I'm gonna hit that choke. I'm gonna go ahead and throw the choke on here and we'll see if it's uh, gonna tell us anything. I didn't get off work and uh, out of my house in time to come out here. So Alex went ahead and threw the starter on. He got a new starter in. Um, he said he had to take the carb off for this hose right here. Um, lift the motor. Of course, those bolts are out, but they were out before. Uh, remove all that stuff and to get to get the starter in, he's got the starter in. He says it has rolled, uh, turned over. He's got a new spark plug. Um, so we're gonna go ahead. He's uh, doing a couple other little things right now We're gonna hook up the gas to it. He's got the battery charger hooked up. We're gonna see if this uh, Puppy will make any noise for us Do you make sure you got all the oil off cylinder when you turn it over? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't With that and the fuel valve's on. Are you getting any fuel? She runs, guys. Anyways, a couple things to mention. You guys see there it runs. We're going to go through and button up a little, couple things. But um, for any of you guys that are maybe looking for some pointers here or whatever, we did unhook our oil injection here, and we were running a 31 mix. Um, factory, I believe, is 32, but we do want a little bit rich as these things have been set, and we want to get as much oil in the bearings and top end as we can uh, to prevent any hopefully long-term damage from uh you know them setting forever so right now we're gonna go ahead and um see if that oil injection was working i didn't get a chance to look in the video but we're gonna test it and make sure we're getting everything out of it and um once over a couple other things and maybe we'll be able to get a test ride on this thing 
Ready? Yep. All right, so we went ahead and put the engine covers over here back on. Um, we do have the airbox off right now because here's what we found in the airbox. Uh, all that corn too, et cetera. It's not the greatest, so we're gonna go ahead and set that right there for now and leave it there. And then he's going to go ahead and put these rear plastics on right now and I'll shut up and let you guys watch that. You can see here where someone's actually taking put a solenoid in the wiring harness instead of the factory relay because uh, you know those get hot and etc and i would say probably they were having starting issues too considering it didn't have a starter when we got it um if you guys watched part one you see there where we went to get it ready to run and we realized oh we don't even have a starter because we just get a little bit excited and do things first so now we got the new starter in um, we already went through the carb in the last part, so it should be good to go. You guys seen it running. It's smoking really bad, but we put a lot of oil in the cylinder just because we knew it was dry. I've been sitting with the plug out. Had corn in it. I mean, come on. So um, anyhow, we've got it all back together here, except for we're not going to put the bolts in the rear plastic right now just to make sure uh, there's nothing else we, we need. Yeah, that too. <laughs> but um, <laughs> we're going to start it up and hopefully do a little bit of test riding. And save ourselves some trouble here. <laughs> Is that fuel one? Yeah, you probably have to turn it on prime first. Right here? Yeah.
you, you guys can't see it, but you could a second ago, that thing runs and she runs good. So now it's this time to do all the fun stuff. Uh, once the smoke clears, which will probably be into tomorrow. No, I'm just kidding, it'll be here a little bit. But anyways, once the smoke clears here. Oh yeah, that was a good one. Oh, was it? oh yeah. Oh, your, your tires are laying behind it. That's how you know you did it right. Oh yeah, for sure. Oh yeah, yeah brother. Time. Anyhow, she's all back together now. Um, we're probably honestly going to try and throw mine back together or something. Or tinker with this one a little bit more, get it idling. Uh, maybe go through the brakes. Suspension seems a little loose. Get the plastics boiled down, etc., etc. But there you have it. She runs two barn finds. Uh, literally pulled out of a barn with mice nests, etc. In them. If you watched the first, first part, you seen that. Uh, pulled corn literally out of the cylinder. Of this one, and here they are running. So uh, stay tuned. We'll see what else we can get done with these guys. All right, guys, you can see here, we took her on another little test ride after we got everything together. We got the engine covers back on, everything's ready. Um, besides the bottom half of the air box and the air filter, uh, we you see there it's idling. We rode it, runs good. So now it's on to the next LT80 over here.